Hi, uh, let's uh, look at the topic mensuration class 8, exercise 11.4, page 191, question number 1. Before that, uh, let's just uh, get on to the volume, uh, the formula of the volume, volume cuboid is L into B into H or where L is the length. B is the breadth and H is the height or it can also be given as area of the base into height because L into B, B becomes the area. The volume of the cube is A cube where A is the side of the cube. Moving on to question, question number 1. Given a cylindrical tank, in which situation will you find the surface area or in which situation's volume A to find how much it can hold? How much it can hold will give the volume, that is the answer. B number of cement bags required to plaster is plaster it. So num to number of cement bags required to plaster will be the covered area that is the surface area will be the answer. C to find the number of smaller tanks that can be filled with water from it that is filled with water will again be the volume. Question number 2 for A, D is 7 centimeters, H is 14 centimeters. For B, D is 14 centimeters and H is 7 centimeters. For cylinder A, R is equal to 7 by 2 centimeters. H is equal to 14 centimeters. So, volume is equal to pi r squared h which is equal to 22 by 7 into 7 by 2 into 7 by 2 into 14 which comes to 539 centimeter cube. For cylinder B, r is 14 by 2 which is equal to 7 centimeter h is 7 centimeter volume is pi r squared into h which is equal to 22 by 7 into 7 into 7 into 7, into 7 which comes to 1078 centimeter square here volume of the Cylinder B is greater. For cylinder A, surface area will be 2 pi r into r plus h, which is equal to 2 into 22 by 7 into 7 into 2 into 7 by 2 plus 14 which is equal to 2 into 22 by 7 into 7 by 2 into 35 by 2 which comes to 385 centimeter square. For cylinder B, surface area is 2 pi r into r plus h, 2 into 22 by 7 into 7 into 7 plus 7 which is equal to 2 into 22 by 7 into 7 into 14 which is equal to 616 centimeter square. Now this cylinder with greater volume has the 
greater surface area. Question number three: Find the height of a cuboid whose base area is one eighty centimeter square and volume is nine hundred centimeter cube. So, height of the cuboid. is volume of the cuboid divided by base area of the cuboid here area is given as 180 cm square when volume is 900 cm cube which is equal to 900 divided by 180 which comes to Five centimeters. Question number four. A cuboid is of dimensions sixty by fifty four by thirty centimeters. How many small cubes with side six centimeters can be placed in the given cuboid? So given as sixty centimeters by fifty four centimeters by thirty centimeters. Inside is six centimeters. So therefore the volume is. Sixty by fifty-four by thirty, just which comes to nine seven two zero zero centimeter cube. Now volume of small cube <coughs> is six into six into six, which is equal to two one six centimeter cube. Therefore. Number of small cubes that can be placed in the given cuboid is volume of the cuboid divided by volume of a small cube. Which is equal to nine seven two zero zero by two one six, which is equal to four fifty. Hence, four fifty small cubes can be placed in the given cube. Question number five. Find the height of the cylinder whose volume is one point five four meter cube and diameter of the base is one forty centimeters. Diameter is one forty centimeters. R is one forty by two, which is equal to seventy centimeters. Area of the base is pi r square. Which is equal to twenty two by seven into seventy into seventy, which is equal to one five four zero zero centimeter square. Volume of cylinder is one point five four meter cube, which is equal to one point five four into hundred into hundred into hundred centimeter cube, which gives Comes to one five four zero 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 centimeter cube. Therefore, the height that we have to find the height of the cylinder is the volume of the cylinder divided by. The area of the base of the cylinder, which is equal to one five four zero 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 divided by one five four zero zero, which comes to hundred centimeter, or this is one meter. Hence, the height of the cylinder is. One meter. 
problem number 6 a milk tank is in the form of cylinder whose radius is 1.5 meter and length 7 meter find the quality of the milk in liters that can be stored in the tank r equal to 1.5 meters h equal to 7 meters capacity c equal to pi r squared h which is equal to 22 by 7 into 1.5 into 1.5 into 7 which comes to 22 by 7 into 15 by 10 or 15 by 10 into 7 which is equal to that is multiplying by 10 and dividing by 10. So, 1.5 becomes 15 then divided by 10 49.5 meter cube which is equal to 49.5 into converting into liters 1000 liters since 1 meter cube is 1000 liters which is equal to 49500 liters hence the quantity of milk that can be stored in the tank is 49,500 liters. Question number 7. If each edge of the cube is doubled, how many times will its surface area increase and how many times will its volume increase? Now let the original edge of the cube be um, a centimeters. Number one will be original surface area of the cube is 6a square original edge will be a new edge will be 2a because it is twice 6 into 2a the whole square substituting the value of 2a here which becomes 24a square which is not 24a square can be given as 4 into 6a square which is nothing but 4 into original surface area hence its surface area will increase 4 times Equation number 2 Original volume of the cube is a cube centimeter cube new volume of the cube is 2 into a the whole cube which is nothing but 8 a cube centimeter cube which is equal to 8 into 2 original volume of the cube hence its volume will increase 8 times Question number 8 Water is pouring into a cuboidal reservoir at the rate of 60 liters per minute. If the volume of a reservoir is 108 meter cube, find the number of hours it will take to fill the reservoir. Now the volume of the reservoir is 108 meter cube equal to 
one out eight into thousand liters one zero eight zero 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 liters water put per minute is sixty liters time taken to fill the reservoir is equal to volume of the reservoir divided by water put per minute which is equal to 108000 by 60 which is equal to 108000 divided by 60 by 60 how is which is equal to 30 hours hence the number of hours it will take to fill the reservoir this 30